Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the farm. Today we're gonna do we're gonna finish harvesting this field as I get uh, oats for Moni's chickens and uh, or Simone. And uh, so let's go ahead and get this harvested. We're gonna go into time fast motion videography. I'll be right back, and we're gonna get this done quick so you can just watch and see us finish it. All right, folks, uh, I am going to head over. I got the first trailer load. Whoops, wrong tractor, wrong vehicle. I'm going to run over and drop some of this off for uh, Simone. So let's go ahead and head over to her farm. And So I think I'm going to do some chickens, too. Um, so I might, I'm trying to think of how to do this. I might lay a coop down now and fill up. Uh, let's see what we got. I think the chicken coops are pretty expensive. She, the one she has is just like a makeshift one, but it's also cheaper. So I don't know. I don't. I don't want to do. I want to do one that's like a bigger one. I want to get a lot of chickens, but we'll see. Let's go ahead and deliver this. I'm gonna dump wheat in there. Let me see if I can find her. Oh, stuck on the pen. That's it. <laughs> no more capacity for wheat, huh? <coughs> All right. Well, we're going to close that up and let me find. I don't see her on the farm. Hmm, I wonder where she went. Is that? Wow, this is a deep divot. Is that her up there? No. All right, well, I'm going to have to call her on the phone. Hey, Simone. Yeah. Hey, where, uh, where, I just emptied out the grain into your chicken feeder, and it's full. Right. But it only used up, like, I mean, I got almost still a full tipper here. Do you want me to, like, dump this in your in your barn or something and you can scoop it using a shovel or I mean no just leave it in the trailer because that trailer is mine yeah but I'm gonna <sighs> yeah there's a second one at the shop that you can use to pick up your stuff oh okay I'm just gonna park this trailer right here then and and uh cool all right cool so you got all you have a <laughs> she's mowing yeah, I've got a full uh trailer load for you there um that you can have and then I'll yeah, you do. yeah. Okay. Hold on. Let's go see what she wants. All right. I'll see you in a sec. Bye. Hey, how are you? Hey, so look at this. <clears throat> yeah? This field has been plowed and cultivated. Yeah? Look at all these rocks. Ooh. Yeah, you're going to have to get rid of those, huh? It's been gro grotivated? Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, you're going to have to... Oh, you got one already. Look at that. You got a rock remover. Oh, that's cool. Well, if you had to, pl you know, you had to plot. Looks like you need lime too. Yeah, I know. Your 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 indicator is showing. This one doesn't need lime, but that no. one does. Uh, you got a field back over here too. Did you know that? Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, that's cool. Uh, okay. Well, I'll bring your other tipper over. So you're just going to kind of use that tipper as a silo. Yeah. That's that's not too bad. I I know lots of people that do that. So okay, I'm going to take off. Okay. I'm going to. 
<laughs> All right, we'll see ya. Thanks. Thanks for letting me keep the rest of the weed. I appreciate that. It's okay. All right, so let's get going. And I'm going to... Um, that's a neat little mower she bought. <laughs> Those things are expensive. I mean, not compared to the rest of our equipment, but... I'm going to wait for her for a sec. I don't want to run her over. See ya. <laughs> that electric tractor is pretty cool, actually. i got to admit. I don't know if it's going to be any good, but... I. I I honestly probably would have considered buying one of those once again when we looked at it in the shop. Uh, but it doesn't have the uh, front loader, so that I need something with a front loader. Plus, I think now I'm happy with the direction that we took because I think we're going to have to do some pretty, I don't want to say heavy field work, but we're definitely going to have heavier field work than I first anticipated. So um, I'm thinking we're going to, you know, with the grass and stuff. So... And eventually I'm probably going to see if she's going to grow crops. I might have to buy wheat from her for my chickens. So. All right. There's this. That must be the car, the car sales division. All right. So we've got this trailer. There's my windrower that I got for real cheap. Actually, while we're here, let's check the shop. It never hurts, right? Sometimes cheap stuff comes in. Um, nothing new. That Axion's nice. That's a big tractor. Mm, I'm not going to buy it, but wow, that's cool. <laughs> you guys still got that bale trailer. That's really cheap. But I don't need any of that. Oh, wrong way again. I keep thinking we're to the left and we're to the right. I'll get used to that. That's uh, just not knowing my... Being new to the area, you know. I've got my new... I feel kind of guilty. I've got my new Holland shirt and I'm driving this uh, Zetter tractor. When I when I head home tonight, I'll change shirts. <laughs> I love New Holland. But they were just out of the price range for us, so... They used to have like a T4 and a T5... On um, the T5, I think, had a low enough horsepower rating to be about around this tractor size. I would have gotten that, but they didn't have it. So this is nice, though. I feel, you know, like this seems like a good quality tractor. I know it's not an American build, but it seems like it's put together well. So so before we continue, uh, well, I mean, I guess I'll get a full tipper first. We can put the chicken over, the, or, over there by the trees. We can put a chicken pen. Uh, so let's go ahead and continue this. So I'm going to go ahead back to fast mode here uh, as we continue our harvest. So enjoy the music, and I will see you in just a couple minutes as we finish up our harvest here. Well, not really finish. We continue because we we've only done like a third of it or less. So I'll be back.
All right, I have finished uh, a trailer full of grain, and we have. I'm gonna place the chickens now. Um, I'm gonna try to put the chickens. Let's use their road up here. I think that I, I want to buy a road if I can. Um, yeah, there's a there's a track here, and so I want to be able to put the chickens and the sheep kind of over here. I don't want to use up any of the grassland that we currently have because I'm gonna mow that. I need to feed the sheep pretty quick. I was gonna put the chickens down by the trees, but I think we're just gonna kind of use field space for that. Um, cause it doesn't really matter. Let's go in here and take a look and see what we have as far as construction. Uh, animals, and we're looking at both sheep and, and uh, chicken. Yeah, it's 80000 bucks for the chicken. Um, collides with player. I'm trying to think of the way. I think I want the meadow to be on the inside, so we're going to rotate this around. And um, let's see, the pickup zone is over there. Nope. <laughs> collides with player. And a pretty cheap uh, ground. Yeah, that's right there. That's good. Okay. Let's take a look around here and see what we got. This is nice. Those tire tracks will go away in time. Don't worry. Uh, we don't have to give the chickens water. These facilities automatically water the chickens. So you don't have to worry about that. Um, but this is a nice little facility for our chick chicks. And we want them to producing eggs. The only reason I'm doing this is to sell eggs. I mean, and eventually, hopefully, if we get into production, we'll be able to sell eggs. Man, that took a lot of money, though. Wow. Um, but what are you going to do? Let's see. Can we get into the chicken coops and actually see them? Oh, yeah. So the chickens will go in here. So. What just happened there? Why did that open up? That's really cool, actually. It's like automated. Did I do that? Did I do that? I did. Oh, that's cool. Oh, the doors open and close. That's really, or the windows open and close. That's really cool. Does this? Okay, the whole thing does. If we, yeah. So the whole thing opens up. That's really cool. And that's done with this control panel. It looks like, yeah. And that ah. I keep stepping on the door. Neat. That's really neat. You can let air in. If it's a hot day, you can kind of cool it down. <laughs> Great. I can't close the door now. <laughs> uh. Oh, there we go. Did I close it? Oh, these doors are a little funky. A little funky. Nope, I have to go in and do it. Let's see if it does it here. Yeah, there it goes. Okay, so we triggered it and closed this. All right, so let's go ahead and put our chicks in. We're going to buy some chickens. Come on, close this up. These doors are a little funky. There we go. Okay, uh, over here, I think, is this is where we dump our grain. And this is where we have paws. Take, let's see. We can get a lot of chickens, I think. Animals. Okay. So we have two month old chickens. Uh, they're not going to really, let's see, produce eggs, I don't believe. So let's do, how many chickens can we hold? We have three hundred room for 360 chickens. So I'm going to do, uh, I know, it's nice, isn't it? Let's see. And so we're going to do 60 chickens for $3,000. Those are going to be the ones that are layers. They're all going to be layers, but um, okay. And maybe another set of those. Oh, but I want to. I want to buy another set. No. Nope. Okay. Back. What did that just do? Maybe you can only have sixty adult chickens. Can I buy more of these? Select. Right. No, sixty more. Okay. So we're gonna buy more. So that puts us at one hundred and twenty. And I'm gonna buy a rooster. And um, we're going to select that. I don't want 60 roosters. We could do two roosters. You probably only need one, honestly. One rooster is enough to rule the roost. And then we're going to buy these cheap chickens for the... Eh. Yeah, we'll buy more cheap. We'll buy some cheap chickens. Because um, they are very cheap. <laughs> cheap chickens. 
Uh, 181. We'll do 60 more, and then we'll let our our chicken spawn. Kind of fill out the rest. <laughs> we'll spawn chickens. Okay, so these are our chickens, and we'll let them we'll let them fill up the rest by themselves. But uh, that's a good looking flock, huh? I like that. Okay, I need to get out of here. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to go grab the tractor. And the rest of this wheat ain't going to be a lot. We're going to sell. We're not going to get a ton of money off of that. But um, And then i got to fill up Simone's uh, harvester and repair it to get it back up to 100%. But this trailer full, we're going to put in with our chickens. Oh, wow, you can really feel the weight of the trailer. That having a hard time pulling that with it being full. I didn't notice that last time, but starting up, I was like, mm, come on. All right, and we're going to go ahead and dump that. It's not saying to dump. Oops, I missed. Wheat. There we go. Start overloading. And we'll pour that into the... And so we're getting food in here. Sweet! <laughs> they're hungry chickens. 241 hungry chickens. I wonder how much wheat they're going to go through per day. That's scary. We have to keep an eye on that. So, that's good. And uh, let's go ahead and finish up the harvest now. So we've got a trailer full here. I'm I'm gonna try I'm interested to see what happens since I'm driving Simone's trailer. I'm wondering if she's gonna get money. Um, so I'm gonna give her a call. Hang on a second here. Beep boop, beep boop. Hey, uh, so I'm gonna sell this grain. Okay. And I'm wondering because I'm using your trailer if you're gonna get it. Okay. Or if I'm gonna get it. Well, no, what I was going to say is if you if it splits the cost between us, that's fine. Like, I don't mind if you get some because you've let me use this equipment and your trailers and stuff, and that's that's a big help to my company. Okay. So um, from a business standpoint, I don't mind if it does that. I just need to figure out where I'm going to sell it. So I will, uh, once I go to sell it, I'll call you, okay? Okay. All right. Thanks. Talk in a minute. See you soon. Bye. Um, all right, so I'm looking at the prices here. It looks like Goldcrest Valley. I want to do the grain mill um, because I do. Uh, I think that Goldcrest Valley, we have to rent the train, and that's like a thousand bucks. We don't. I don't think we we might have we might have two or three thousand dollars of wheat here. So with the if you factor in the cost of the train rental, it's gonna be it's gonna be non. It's a non-issue just don't do it boy this was a really strategically well-placed farm i i didn't think about the water being right next door but there it is 
I don't know if that's deep enough for us to get water, but I'm hoping that it is. It probably will be, I would think. Let's see. Where's this place on the map? Oh, it's way up there. Jeez. Um... So I guess I just go out of town. Looks like over the freeway and then turn right after we get past the freeway. Looks like we're clear. And yeah, we're going to go ahead and head down the road. Once again, I am glad I brought bought those communal tires, but we're, I'm, I'm realizing we're going to have to do some field work, so I'm going to stop at the shop and see if they can't uh, lend me a set of uh, standard work tires as we get our field. I'm mostly, I think my 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 goal, I, hey, there's Simone, I think, uh, I think my goal is probably going to be to, um, I'm going to, to run the, whatever you call it, to get rid of the stubble, because we've got stubble left over from the wheat. And then after I'm done doing that, I'm gonna just disc it, uh, and then we'll plant our uh, we'll plant our, our grass. I checked the field, and it doesn't need lime, thankfully, and it also doesn't need um, plowing, so we don't have to plow. That right there makes our life a lot easier. Here's Junction Nine. Here's Route 97 right here, and we're going towards Ravenport. Goldcrest Valley's to the right. Ravenport. That's interesting that there's a sign there for that. Once again, I'm new to the area, so I mean, Ravenport's like in California. That's like thousands of miles away. We're so we're in Ohio here. Dumping off the wheat. Let's see how much we make. Ah, uh, we're making money. <laughs> Are you making... I'm going to call Simone. Beep boop, beep boop. Beep boop, beep boop. Yes? Hey, are you making any money? No. Okay. I'm losing money. You're losing money? Okay, you must be having hired workers. <laughs> they take all your money. All right, that's... I, I just sold all the grain. Well, some of the grain. Um, I got... Probably like two more two more trips to go, uh, and then I'll bring your stuff back. Okay. Thanks so much for letting me use it. You're good. All right. Talk to you soon. Bye. Bye. All right. So I'm going to head back home, um, and I will we'll reconnect when I get there. See you in just a second, folks. All right. I'm arriving back on my farm, and uh, we got the chickens. That's, so far, that's all we got. <laughs> But that's a lot. More than we had before. Uh, I wish they were, hadn't been so expensive, but it, it is what it is. Uh, we're definitely going to have to take out a loan because I want to buy the spinnery. And eventually I'd like to get a textile plant going here and making clothes. So we'll see how that works. But Elm Creek Outfitters. How does that sound? Sounds good to me. Uh, all right, so this needs to be emptied a little bit more, and we'll get back to harvesting. We really are almost done. Uh, looks like we got about three or four more passes, and we'll be finished. So I'm glad I'm glad about that. But it's not like it was hard to do this. Um, but it'll be nice being all finished, and then we can start getting this field cleared and planted with grass. Uh, and what not we'll get our sheep pen put in next probably an equipment shed I need to get arms for the tractor like front fart we need to get a mower and wind rower. I might try. Actually, we bought the big wind rower, but now that I'm thinking about it, let me think about this. Actually, no, it'll work just fine. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to wind row as I mow and uh, like kind of pass back and forth and we'll, we'll kind of. Uh, that won't work. I'm trying to think of how to do it. I may not have needed that wind rower, but it was a good deal. <laughs> as I'm thinking of ways to do this, we could, we could mow directly into a collection wagon 
Uh, I don't know. I'll figure it out. They just need grass, so we don't need anything fancy. I don't know if I want them in grass bales, because that they don't last and they dry out. Though I guess they probably take hay too, so I mean we could make hay. I don't want to really force hay though, but I guess if they dry out, it's not the end of the world the world. So yeah, definitely at least three more passes. Okay guys, I'm gonna go ahead back to speed mode. See you in just a sec. strip of wheat then it's time to decide where we're going to put the sheep pen preferably somewhere flat I'm noticing with the chicken coop which is not a big deal but it's got a bit of a bump there I'm going to try to fix that if I can smooth it out a little bit um, and uh, then we'll replace our place your bets place our coop or our I mean our pasture paddock for the sheep next and then we'll get the grass put in which is going to take a little bit of doing once again we have to get rid of this field stubble and uh, and then cultivate I've noticed with the weight of the grain that the trailer actually starts to sink a little bit. I'm going to see how much more grain we can get in the chicken pen because it's really not worth very much, but we do need it, so... So this is a really nice harvester. I think she made a good purchase with this. It's high quality. I was looking at pricing, and it's about seventy-five thousand dollars, about a hundred with the head. That's not bad for a small harvester, and really for her fields, this is plenty. Um, oh, and let's see here. Up ahead, I need to get her gas. So I got to figure out where the gas station is. Probably don't see these coming in every day to pick up. Well, diesel. Uh, where's the diesel station? Let's look at the map. Once again, familiarity with town probably helps a little bit. I think it's up to the left, so let's go ahead and do that. But first, I need to repair this, so let's go ahead and go to the, the repair shop and get this all fixed up for her. Didn't use much on it, but it was nice of her to let us, you know, put some wear and tear on this thing. So let's go ahead and get that. Ring, ring. Hello? Hey, do you know where um, the stone drop-off point is? Yes, if you go go past the dealership, yeah. and at the next major road, you're going to turn right. It's kind of down that alley with all the big mills. I'm looking right at it. Um, you'll see like three or four mills together. It's, it's on the left side, and it's along there. You'll see a big yellow stone crusher. Uh, it's pretty easy to find. Wow, you got a lot of bags and stuff. Look at all that. Um, all right. Let's see. Repair. Well, that wasn't too bad. All right, I got your harvester all fixed up. I'm going to get some gas, and I'm bringing it home. Okay. All right, talk soon. Oh, yeah, I see you going by. Bye. Bye. <laughs> She's got that stone grinder. Told you we were in Ohio. This is Route 42. There we, 
You got 42 gas right there. Yep. Matthews 42. Oh, that's good to know. This is uh, open 24-7, so that's good. And I'm going to back this in. Let's see, where's the fuel tank on this? Oh, it's under the shroud. I can't tell. Everybody needs diesel. Actually, yeah, there's diesel on this pump. Okay. There we go. She's all full up. That's funny. The gas station was right across the street from her house. How convenient is that? And we'll park. Oh, this traffic goes right to her house. Whoops. Forgot about that. So we're going to park it in her garage. She's mowed her grass, I see. Speaking of which, we're going to have to get some of that equipment, too. <laughs> oh, boy. Well, I was going to park this in here, but it looks like she's got stuff in there, so we're just going to leave that. We'll park it right here. Green, green. Hello? Hey, guess what? What? I made 136 books for no two stars. Dude, that's not bad. All right, I'm gonna walk back to the sh to the, my tractor. I'm on my way back, by way. All right, have fun. I'm gonna I'm heading back home, so I'm gonna walk back to my tractor. Oh, and, okay. Well, uh, bye then. Well, not home, but to my field, and then I'll see you tonight when okay. I get home. If I need if you need anything, they'll give me a call. Will do. All right, see you later. Bye. Bye. Oh, I forgot. I'm gonna see you later anyway because I gotta drop this uh, this trailer off. <laughs> Oops. Oh well, she'll find out. Now put this right here. I wonder how much grain this actually holds. We put eight thousand in already. Be interesting to see how much if it takes the next six thousand in there. It'd be nice if it did, because then I don't have to worry about that. Nope. <laughs> Shoot. I guess I'm gonna have to take this up to the the mill and sell it off. See if I can find an alternate route to the mill. We can have a nice, pretty drive. Coming up this way, there really isn't. Doesn't look like it's the freeway. So, all right, I'm going to head back to the mill, folks. I'll see you when I get back. Um, so have a have fun, and we'll see you in just a minute. All right, I'm almost back to Simone's farm. Man, she's got beehives everywhere. I wonder where she collects her honey. Looks like she's meditating out there in the field. Hmm. I wonder if she's like that lizard in uh, in in Rango. You know which one I'm talking about? The one that just kind of like goes numb after a while, kind of blink out. And uh, it looks, she looks like she's having a blink out moment. Well, no wonder the sun's starting to go down. No wonder it's kind of looking like fallish. Simone, you there? Hmm. Interesting. <laughs> Hopefully she's okay. All right, well, I'm going to head to the shop and pick up a roller. We're going to get the field stubble cleared. and Oh, I need to probably place the sheep, too, so let's... We'll figure all that out let's head on out to the farm and yeah this thing's looking a little big for this tractor <laughs> i mean we got 117 120 we're, we're underweight a little bit we only have to do it once though we should be fine we'll see what famous last words i don't want the tractor to blow up avoid the warranty all that good stuff I'm going to place my sheep. Um, so let's see. We got animals and sheep. And of course, we're going to do the big one because there's no point in doing the little ones. Um, 
We'll do it up on this corner. I need to look out here and see how much space we have. There's a loading dock. Oh, boy. I wonder what we dump there. That's probably where we load the grass in. Oh, that's not bad. Uh, let's go take a look at it. I'm not super excited with the way that went, but... Well, this isn't too bad. It goes along with the road, and then there's a ramp up, so that's not too bad. And we dump our straw. Hey, it looks like it's got a little storage area for bales, too. Hmm. This is probably where we pick up the pallets. I wish this was a little bit more flat to the road. But that's okay. We'll just have to get used to it. Have to back away a little bit from there. That's the only downside. When you set stuff near the edge of your property, it, it does some weird stuff. All right, let's get moving here. Folks, so I'm going to rush and get this done. I think it's time for a little, a little speed cam. So I'll be back in a few moments, and we should be all finished with this. Um, I'll see you momentarily. I'm gonna try something here. I'm, I've got a. I want to try to make this better. This is a better transition because it's such a big bump. So I'm trying to set this to slope target point. We're gonna say A, right? And X. It says slope to target. Let's see if that works. X. Let's see. No. Set slope to point. Right. No. Did that not work? Mm. Is that working? What did this do? No, it just made it even bumpier. Shoes and socks. I'm trying to smooth out the transition between here and there because it's such a huge bump. So let's see if we do, maybe if we do this, let's try smoothing it. So uh, soften. And try to get all this softened here. Um, let's see, remove this here. Does, has this, I guess, yeah, that is softening it. Okay, good. That's kind of what I want. I want to bring this down a little bit so it's not quite such a harsh angle. Because we need to be get, able to get our vehicles up there and stuff without, what if I have like a forklift or something eventually, and I can't get it up this bump because it's too steep. Uh, let's see here. All right. Mm. Let's see how that is. That's going to be... Hello? Hi. Are you ready to come home yet? Like, it's nearly dark. Well, that's because time is going by much faster than it should be going by. If it was set at the speed that it was normally supposed to be going by, it wouldn't be dark already. I can't set how normal time, you know. All right. I'll come home in just a second. Give me a minute here. I'm just doing some construction. Take a nice hot shower. It's been a, wrong, a long day. 
I've got to do, I did smooth around the sheep pen as you saw there. Tomorrow I'm going to also do some work near the chicken pen because I'm not totally happy the way that that came out. Um, so we're going to smooth that out a little bit. Uh, we are running a little short on money. I, I, I've been looking into the spinnery. Uh, the guy that owns it says it's going to be 60000 bucks to buy. That seems a little steep, but I do want to buy it from him because I'd like to be able to make my own textiles. And then we can take them and make, you know, start a clothing line. So I'll have to build a... Uh, a clothing factory but uh i mean that's going to be interesting to see how that works out but we'll 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 hopefully make some good money with that uh because we're looking at about a hundred thousand dollars to get there but we've got a lot of the stuff that we need already so uh i'm just gonna park my tractor here and uh we'll finish this tomorrow morning and then we'll do some cultivating wow it is really dark out here all right guys so i'm gonna go uh have a great night be sure to subscribe oh, hey simone Hi. Well, I mean, I just, I'm just i just a renter. I don't have to be here at any specific time because I'm well, only renting. Like, want to go to bed? You can go to bed. I, I'm just going to my little room. Wow, she's crabby. Oh, boy. Okay, uh, I will see you next time. Do you want to say good night? Good night. All right, guys. We'll see you next time. Bye.